Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we created an add contact screen and now in this video, we will create a display contact screen. So open the project, go to the main activity. So to display a list of contacts, we need to create a contact item that will be displayed in a list format. Hence, we need to create two functions. One is for contact items and another one for displaying the contact item in a list. So first, let's create the contact item function. I will give two parameters, contact, which is a data class, and on click means clickable item. This is what we are creating. There is a card and inside it an image and the text. So let's create a card with all the required parameters. And done. Then inside it, there will be an image and a text, but we cannot directly add them. Hence, we will create a row layout with all the required parameters. And then, now inside the row, we will create an image. See, here we are retrieving the image from the room database. So, how will we do that? So, to retrieve any image from the room database, we use Remember Async Image Painter. And with the help of that, we will retrieve the contact image. Then, add other parameters. And then, then a spacer with 16 dp width. Then lastly, a text. This is where we will retrieve the contact name. And then, our contact item is ready. Now let's display this item in a list format. So create a contact list screen function.
and done. I will give two parameters, view model and nav controller for navigation. Then inside it, we will be using a toast. Hence for that, we will require context. So create a context variable and done. Here we'll be creating three things. First is the top app bar. Second is the floating action button. And third is the contact item in a list. So first let's start with the top app bar. All of this thing will be inside a scaffold. Hence creating a scaffold. And then inside of it, create a top app bar. With 48 dp height. Then a title will be inside a box so that the text is centered vertically aligned. The top bar title will be contacts with 18 SP font size. Then the navigation icon. I will create an icon button whose on click will be a toast. And the icon will be the contact icon image. And done. Then I will add few colors. And then our top app bar is ready. Add necessary imports. And then, then outside the top app bar brackets, create a floating action button. So when you click on this fab, it will navigate you to the add content screen, which we have already created in the previous video. Hence, the container color is green and on click will navigate to add contact. This is our root name. I will talk about it in detail. Before that, add an add icon. And then, our fab is also ready. Now, before moving on to display list, let's have a look at navigation. Inside the set content, we'll set up a nav controller and nav host for the navigation. So create a nav controller variable. So create a nav controller variable that is equal to remember nav controller. In navigation, we have three components. Name controller, name host, and name graph, right? So in Jetpack Compose, we only require a name host and name controller. So the name controller is ready. Then create a name host. 
with two parameters in it Nave controller which we just created and start destination means the first screen which is obviously our contactless screen that we just created so here in the navigation we give routes it's like keywords hence contact list is a keyword for the contact list screen how do we assign routes to these screens let me show you create a composable with route keyword as contact list whose destination screen is contact list screen function with its parameters we model and nav controller and then likewise we will create for add contact as well and then now we have two routes ready contact list and add contact other two routes that is contact detail and edit contact which we will create in the next video okay now come back here the last thing that we need to do is to display contact item in a list using a lazy column the lazy column is like a recycler view in jetpack compose so first let me write the code and then i'll explain And uh, now see the padding values modifier is applied to the lazy column to provide padding around the list. Then the contacts list is observed from a view model, which is initially set to an empty list. Then the lazy column is a list that efficiently displays a large number of items, as I said, like a recycler view. Then items represent the list of contact, and that contact is our contact item which we created before. So each item in the list is represented by a contact item and when a contact is clicked it navigates to a detailed view of that contact using navcontroller.navigate pass in the contact id in the navigation route again we have not yet created a contact detail route because we have not yet created a contact detail screen but this is how it is written contact detail is a root name and contact.id represents that whatever the contact item is clicked only that item's contact detail screen should be open and that is possible only if we pass contact id got it and that's it our contact list screen is also ready now the last thing that is remaining is to create an edit contact screen and a detail contact screen which we will cover in the next video for now that is it for the video if you are new to this channel then please consider subscribing to my channel and i'll see you in the next video